Hello everybody. Welcome to Solid Rocks Tips and Tricks. This is Sharan Kumar, working as an application engineer in Bacon India. So today the topic I am going to discuss is sensor. So it is a tool used to monitor the selected properties of a path or an assembly and gives an alert when the property exceeds the limit. So let us find out how it works inside the SOLIDWORKS. For that I have taken few examples. So for part level I have taken one housing of a gearbox. So this is the example. Before going inside that we can check out the sensor. The sensor is available on the evaluate tab and also you can find it out in the feature manager tree. So once we gain inside the sensor we can see the types of sensor. So the 10 uh, types of sensors are simulation data, mass properties, dimensions, measurement and motion data. Before going inside this, let us add some material for this housing. So by adding some material for this one, we can, we can have some property or a standard property for this. So once again we check the properties of this one. So the density is available, mass is available and the volume is available. So let's capture any one of the property. For example, I have taken the mass property which is now 4.983 pounds. I am going to add the sensor for the mass property and I need to mention an alert like my property should not exceed the value of 5. Instantly I am changing the material of this housing into copper. There comes the sensor alert. Like it says, the property or the mass property of this housing has changed from 4.25. 5. That is beyond the specified value. So this is how the sensor works in the part level. Next, we can have an example in the assembly level. For that, I have taken the universal joint as an example. This one is familiar with the homeworks. And here, we can see what the extra things available in the sensor type. That's the interference detection and the proximity sensor. So these are these two are the extra sensors available in this one. Here I have taken the interference detection and this interference detection has some values like trade coincidence as an interference, show ignored interference, trade subassemblies as a component, include multi-body parts interferences create fastness for the whatever I need I just checking out after finishing this I just rotate the part in a circuit motion and once I wrote, started to rotate the sensor gives an intimation and I update that one and here comes the interference so finding out for this I'm just using the interference detection and I can get to know the real time interferences in this one so this is how the sensor works in the assembly level. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.